fill you about half an hour class. This has taken many, many attempts. Two dogs in the dishwasher. Someone came to the front door. It's been a lot. So I need this as well. So, get your mat. Place it somewhere where it's quietish. I know that can be very difficult. Half an hour class just for you. Hands on the knees, palms to the sky. You don't have to sit cross-legged. I'm sitting on a block because it just takes the pressure off the knees and just lets me sit straighter with more ease. Shoulders, roll them a few times. Get comfortable. Roll the head from side to side. Fidget as much as you need to until you're ready to find some stillness. Close your eyes or softly gaze ahead. Just try to let go of any tension in the face and the shoulders. As soon as you start to try to release tension, you can realise how tense you actually are. So, what should you take what you need? accept whoever you are, however you feel, and put pressure on yourself. But then start to set your intention, your sankalpa, of what you need today, your practice, your feelings, your mantra, your feeling you want to experience, a goal you want to set yourself. And just see whatever your intention is. Holding that intention there in the mind's eye. Each time you inhale fully, see that intention get brighter, see the letters glow. And after your third breath, just allow the intention. I place my block to the side, we'll come back to that later. We'll just start over the sides of the body. So as we inhale, we bring hands all the way up. As we exhale, bring right hand down, left hand over by the ear. You move forward. You can bring the fingertips away from you or even bring the elbow on the floor and the forearm. But remember, listen to your body, there's no pressure. Let go of expectation. Next inhalation. Coming all the way up, and then as we exhale, let's reach down to the opposite side. Really grounding down through the opposite hip, so we're really feeling the stretch all the way through the side of the body. And inhaling up, and then interlacing the fingers, pushing your hands away from you, and just having a little bit of a rotation here through the stomach, through the ribs, and then the other. Just limbering up very slightly and then circle the hands down in front of you. Push the palms away and as you do, round the upper back slightly and tap the chin down. Imagine you're pushing something away from you. You're gently pulling the stomach in, creating some space between the shoulder blades. Breathing here. Look simple but you should be able to feel a big movement in your body. And then as you next inhale, draw the hands away from you. Imagine you're trying to get the palms to touch Lift the stern to the sky, create some space, and then as you exhale, round, push away from you, 
the stomach and the chin in, head curl down, inhale, lift, create the space, draw your hands away. Last time, exhale, round, pull in, push the hands further away, and then draw your spine up to a neutral position, place the hands down, roll the shoulders, and then let's meet on our hands and our knees. So remember to check your alignment, so your knees are underneath your hips and your wrists underneath, underneath your shoulders, the palms are spread wide. So coming into your cat cow pose, remember to move with your breath, listen to your body. So as we inhale, we're dropping the stomach, lifting the tailbone and the head. As you exhale, we're rounding, pushing them out away, drawing the navel into the spine, letting the head top down, chin to chin. Moving with your breath, sometimes closing your eyes, just helps you to bring that awareness inwards. You should be able to hear your Ujjayi breath on the way. A few more times here. Really feeling any tension, any tightness. Just move smooth, very slow. Lubricate the spine in your last breath. And then as we inhale and exhale, come to a neutral spine. So we're going to take the right leg away from us, come onto the toes first, engage the core, so slightly pulling the ribs together, zipping as you're wearing tight jeans, you're sucking the stomach in, but still you're still comfortable. And then you're always going to inhale the heel up. Now we can stay there, or you can sweep the left hand forward. Well done. We're going to hold it here for three, two, one. And then as we exhale, we're going to knee to the elbow underneath the navel. Inhale away two more times with your breath. Over time and pace. Last time when you're ready. Taking it away. Well done. So you bring your left hand down. And as you exhale, you're going to draw the right knee in. Squeeze up and towards the chest and then place the foot in between the palms. Well done. As we inhale, we're going to come up into our crescent lunge. Knee over the ankle, lifting up. So we're lunging forward, but not to 100%. Slightly push that thigh bone back. Give yourself some space here. Let the body open up naturally and then lift the chest. Hands slightly back past the ears. Breathe. Exhale, hands down onto the floor, either side of that front foot. Take a breath here and then start to straighten that right leg using the heel as an anchor so that the, the, the foot isn't going to move. Bring your toes to sky, straightening that right leg, shifting the hips back. And then bring your hands either by your front feet, you can bring them back by your knees, even on your hips, leaning forward with a nice long spine. So we're lowering down here over our front leg, but we're lowering down from our chest, not from our chin, we're not rounding here. We're lowering down with control, no rush, no pressure. Just finding the spot. Really feeling the muscles opening, lengthening at the back of the leg and the hamstrings. Now as we exhale, we're gonna Ground the foot forward and then inhale, right hand up to the sky. Take your gaze to your fingertips. But you can stay here, and that's fine. Or you can pick your back foot up, bending the knee, and then see if you can bring the hand onto the foot. Well done. Three breaths. Two. Last breath, and then gently let that go. Bring a hand either side of the front foot, and then bring the knee back. Two cat cow breaths whenever you're ready. With the next breath, you're on. Rounding, pushing away. And then coming to a neutral spine, we'll do the same on the other side. 
So then we take the left foot all the way back, push through the toes, engage the core, and then when you're ready, you can lift the heel up, toes down. So you're going to sweep forward with the right hand now. Imagine that you're trying to touch something too far away from while pushing back something that's just behind you. So you're really lengthening through the whole of the body here. When you're ready, three times, elbow and knee are going to be underneath the navel with your exhalation. So big inhalation here. As you exhale, inhale, reaching away. Two more times. With your breath. Last time. Reaching away from you. Well done. Place the hand down. And then as you exhale, squeeze it into the chest and place the foot in between the hands. Reaching all the way up with your inhalation, knee over the ankle, lunging forward, opening the chest up, lifting the heart, opening the ribs, and slightly taking your gaze to the sky, bringing your biceps back past your ears. Remember to listen to your body. So if you're feeling tightness or any tension on your lower back, just loosen it. Come forward. Last breath in. As you exhale, placing the hands down either side of the front foot and then starting to shift just the hips back, using the front heel as an anchor, it's not going to move. The toes lift up. Bringing your hands where they feel best, but you can have a nice straight spine. And then as we breathe, as we exhale, Lowering forward over the front leg. Taking your time. Inviting in deep breaths. One more breath in. And then as we exhale, bending that front foot. Right hand comes down, left hand sweeps to the sky. Beautiful. Looking up at your fingertips. Staying here, see if you can bend the back knee. Holding on to the back foot. For three breaths. Last breath. Exhale, let it go. Bring the hands onto the floor. Bringing the knees back. And then push back into the child's pose, mm -hmm. head come down. You can always bring your hands back to your heels, letting the shoulders melt and relax. Really allowing your hips to rest on top of the heels, and allowing your shoulders and your chest to melt forward for the last deep breath. Bring your hands in front of you again, back into your tabletop position, you tuck your toes under. And when you're ready, you're going to lift the knees up. Looking down into your hands, two, one, and then push the hips back. Keep the knees bent, coming into our down facing dog. Feet hip width apart, pushing the chest back to the knees. Rolling the shoulders away from the ears, engaging in between the heels. And then starting to stretch one leg at a time. Really stretching back through the heels, opening up muscles through the backs of the legs, and then finding stillness whenever you feel ready. Now, in between your palms, you can either bend your knees and hop forward, or you can take loads of little steps until your feet are in between your hands. I'm going to face you so you can see what I'm doing. We're going to come into a rag doll here, so we're going to bend the knees, hold onto the elbows, and just sway from side to side, round in small circles, whatever feels good. Just allow the knees to be soft, and let the weight of the head gently stretch the spine. Thank 
position and let the spine lengthen even more. Last breath here. Next inhalation, gently roll the spine all the way up. Take your time, stack your vertebrae. <sighs> come to standing, well done. So let's come into our Tadasana, our mountain pose. In class, we've been through this so many times, but I'm just going to gently remind you. So feet underneath your sitting bones, underneath your hips, wherever you feel that you've got the most stability. We're going to squeeze and engage the thighs, gently squeeze the glutes, roll the shoulders. Turn palms forward. Close your eyes. Feel the feet grinding down. Feel the body growing, lengthening through the crown of the head as you breathe. Gently engaging the core. Squeezing the tongue muscles. But so we're not too engaged, so we're comfortable. Inhalation, arms all the way up and turn this way. As we exhale, fully forward fold, hands down to the floor, bend the knees if you need to. As we inhale, draw the hands back and come up with a nice flat back. Exhale, hands onto the floor, and then take the right leg, followed by the left leg, back into your plank pose. So we're not lifting the hips, we're not dipping the back, we're really nice and straight here. We're pushing back through our heels, our stomachs engaged, and our shoulders over our wrists. As we exhale, knees, chest, chin, or lower down, with control through your chaturanga. Flatten the toes, roll the shoulders, engage the glutes, and lift up, pushing through your toes into your upward facing dog. Head forward, but eyes to the sky. Exhalation, pushing back, downward facing dog. Well done. As we inhale, let's pick up the right leg behind us, point the toes away, and then just circle the ankles a few times. And then as we next exhale, bend the knee into the chest and then thread that foot through underneath the body, through to the left side and come into a fallen triangle. So if you feel comfortable too, you can lift up that left arm. So you can take your fingers, your gaze to your fingers. Exhalation, bringing the hand back down, bending that right knee back in and placing the foot in between the palms. Push back through that left heel. And then as we inhale, bring the hands all the way up into our lunge. Well done. Finding some stillness here. Cactusing the arms, so bending the arms, lifting the chest. Bringing the arms all the way back behind us, interlacing the fingers, drawing the hands down. And then as we exhale, we start to shift the weight forward and come into our warrior three. So take your time. Whenever you feel ready, pick that back leg up behind you. Toes down, heel up, arms away. Remember, hold on to something should you need to. Listen to your body if it's easy and place your hands out to your sides. So three, two, one. Very gently, with control, take that all the way back. Back into your crescent lunge. Hands down on the floor, either side of that front foot. Build some momentum and then step forward. Deep forward fold now. Hold on to the backs of your ankles and draw the nose in towards the knees. Maybe keep your knees nice and soft here. I'll straighten them if you want a little bit more of a challenge. Exhale. Sit back into your Uttanasana, chair pose, hands up to the sky. Nice long spine. And then as we inhale, coming all the way up and right, stuck in between my beautiful tree. Well done, close the eyes, just take a couple of breaths before we carry on moving. Your heart rate's racing. Just acknowledge that and congratulate yourself. You're testing yourself, you're nourishing your body. It's so all in the name of health. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, hands back and bring the spine nice and long. 
body in an L shape. Exhale, hands down. And then take your left leg, followed by your right leg, back into your pelvic pose. Squeeze the body. Exhale, lower down with control. Straight up into your upward facing dog. Roll the shoulders away from you. Squeeze that core, squeeze that thumb. Well done, look to the sky. Exhale into your downward facing dog. Looking in between your heels. Breathing here, most importantly. Well done. Inhale, left leg's gonna come all the way up behind us. Point the toes and then circle the ankle one way and then another. Next exhalation, you're gonna bend the knee, squeeze it into the chest, and then we're gonna thread it through the right side of the body. Staying here or lifting up the right hand, staring at your fingers and coming on to the big toe side of your left foot if you feel comfortable to. Lift the hips and then exhale, place that right hand down, bend the knee into the chest and then place it in between your palms. Take your time coming up into your crescent lunge. Knee over ankle, should be limber here, straight through that back leg. Practice in the arms as you exhale. Inhale, open your chest. Exhale, bring the hands back, clasping the fingers. Inhale, push it away. As we exhale, prepare yourself, coming forward, engaging your body into your warrior three. Toes down, heel up. It doesn't matter if the foot's up here or if you're like this. We're still benefiting from all of the many benefits there are for Warrior 3, strengthening the grounding. Last breath. And then slowly but surely bring that leg back. Hands to the sky. Take a breath here through the lungs. And exhale, hands either side of that front foot. And then take a step forward. Well done, deep forward flow. Holding onto the heel, nose towards the knees, really let go here. Good job. Sitting back, knees over ankles, pushing in through the front toes and the heels, inhaling arms up for nice long spine. Inhaling all the way up in my training hands to your heart center. <sighs> Take five breaths. See that sound cow, see your intention in your mind's eye. If the heart's racing, try to use these breaths to slow down. So let's take the feet outwards, so the knees and the toes are facing the same way. Inhale, arms up, we're going to come into our malasana, our squat. So as we exhale, we're bending down through the knees, we're bending the elbows, and then just hold it, I'm so sorry, for two breaths. One, two, all the way down, well done. So if this is not comfortable, if your heels are on the floor, that's fine. If it's uncomfortable to the point where it's slightly verging on pain or you're concerned, you can always place a block underneath your sitting bones and just rest back. So you're gonna push your elbows into your knees, bring your palms together at your heart center. Breathe here, so this pose is so good for opening up the hips, it's good for lengthening the spine tightness around the pelvis. Also good for a tight Achilles. Well done. 
I don't know an elegant way to get out of this pose. I'll just plop myself back. You can do the same. If you know an elegant way, feel free. Just do this turn this way so you can see me. So you're going to sit on top of the block if you have one. If not, do not worry about it. You can always do this just sitting. If you're on top of a block, you've got more, a little bit more of a challenge. You're going to come into Navasana boat pose. Hands in front of you. Actually, let's start off with our level. So holding onto the backs of the knees first. And then toes on the floor, you should be able to feel as you lean back with a straight spine, you'll find a point where you're pivoting. And you're using your balance, the core will be engaged, don't worry about that. And then see if you can gently bring your feet off the floor. So you can stay here, as you can see, I'm shaking from that. Or you can bring your hands away, straighten them out to the sides of the body in front of you. If you want a challenge, you can bring the hands all the way up and then see maybe if you can straighten one leg. Oh, I'm going to go. Two legs, both legs, bend the knees, do what you've got to do. Listen to your body and find where you can feel a challenge but still try to breathe. Well done. One more breath. Exhale, draw the knees into your body. Let the feet come off. Ah, bring the feet down. So five minutes left. You'll be happy to know you're going to lie down now. So come into lie on the back. Hit your block. If you haven't got a block, it's going to be more challenging, but maybe that's a really good thing. We're going to come into a bridge pose. So the most important thing here, you're going to keep your feet about in line with your sitting bones. And it should be really wide. It should be completely close together. Just find that sweet spot. Feet in front of you, soles and feet on the floor. Give yourself a flattering double chin. So you're creating some length at the back of your neck. Not compressing here. Grab your block. Next inhale, lift the hips, peel the hips off the floor and place the block underneath the pelvis. Now you have levels to the block, so listen to what's good for you. First level, second level, if you want a real challenge, go on to the third level. And you can always adjust this if you're feeling it's a little bit too hard, a little bit too easy, it's your body, your practice. Placing the palms on the floor, roll the shoulders in here, tuck the chin down. Breathing here, and if you haven't got a block, you should be squeezing back glutes, those glutes, lifting the hips, just holding it, and hold it for about five more breaths. And while we're holding it, should you want to, see if you can lift your left leg up to the sky. Bring your toes away. And then straighten that leg. Exhale, bring it down. Stay with the opposite leg. Lift into the sky. Lift the hips off of the block, place the block to the side, but keep the hips lifted. So you're squeezing, this is really amazing for the pelvic floor as well, as well as the glutes and the muscles in the legs. Next, exhalation, slowly, 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 but surely lowering. hips are down to the ground. Tuck your knees in to your chest. Hold onto the knees and give your lower back a beautiful massage. So take your knees in circle, your side to side, the figure eight always feels nice. Just really enjoy this. It's so amazing. We're relieving pressure through the lower back and the pelvis. Feels so nice. I think we could do it for ages. Knees into the chest, open the hands out to the side, take a breath. As you exhale, let the knees fall to the right side and the head fall to the left. Close your 
flowers to soften the base head. Now if your knees are off the floor and there's a big gap between them, use a block to bridge the gap. This should be relaxing. So let your own pressure. Maybe this twist is really amazing. It helps with your swelling. It's also really good for digestion. the knees back to centre and then let them fall straight over to the left side, head to the right. I'm just starting to feel the body relax, feeling the muscles soften. Give them a good squeeze and open the tight now up to And then let the feet come right out in front of you. Come into your shavasana. Your time to relax. Shift. Feel comfortable. Get a blanket. Get a pillow. I'm going to sign out in the next few minutes, but I want you to stay here for as long as you can. So I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Hands on the floor, palms to the sky. Bring one hand to the stomach and one to your chest. If your mind is distracted, it would help some way to be quiet if you can feel the rise and fall of your breath in your body. Let the muscles around the face feel the head, the cheekbones soften. Allow tension. Ease in the joints. 